Hello kids, Patrick Livingston of easyanimalstodraw.com and today we're going to be drawing this animal. The Bulldog. Start by drawing four marks for the circle for the hips. You'll notice that unusually, if you look at the drawing at the top right, unusually the circle for the head of the bulldog is actually bigger than the, cir the circle we're drawing for its hips. It's the ratio of these circles, the shoulders, the head and the hips, uh, that define the correct proportions for your dog, in this case a bulldog, and it's good to notice this before you begin, get an idea for what makes the proportions of each dog unique. So now we're starting the second circle for the shoulders and it's a little bit bigger than the hips. Notice also the the difference sorry not the difference notice also the distance uh, between the um, these two circles. Now you can draw it by hand, which I, I recommend, because by drawing by hand you'll get better and better at drawing circles. Um, but if you're a complete beginner and you don't feel comfortable doing that, um, by all means use a compass or uh, a lid or uh, any object uh, that will give you a circle of close to the, to the correct size. Try and get it as close as possible because it's quite important. As you can see, I'm drawing in the circle very lightly to begin with, just little trace dots, and uh, then going over it more heavily. And this is this is quite a good technique, I find, because you concentrate first on the, the accuracy of the circle and afterwards you make it a little more defined so that you can use it better as a drawing guide. And look at how, again, the circle for the head of the dog is actually, the head of the bulldog is actually bigger than its hips. This is quite unusual. And now I'm drawing a, a semicircle across the circle for the head as a guide to the position of the muzzle and the eyes of the dog. This will help a lot to get the position of the face correct. Don't be afraid to rub it out and do it again if you think you've gotten it wrong. As I obviously did. And now a kind of trapezoid rectangular shape for the ear. And a second one for the second ear, the nearest ear. And the foreleg that's furthest away on the other side of the body. And the line indicating the elbow of the foreleg and the paw. Notice how the line begins inside the circle. And if you look carefully, you can see the, the knee bend at the, uh, the back of the, the hind leg nearest us. Well, we're on to the back already. And a small circle for the tail. Joining up the circles to give us the proportions for the body. And now we're ready to move on to the second stage where we'll do the actual drawing, starting with the eyes. Draw in the pupil, make it quite dark. A bit of shading, the colour of the eye. You notice that the eyes are quite far apart on a bulldog. You 
can see I've left that's just a little bit of white to indicate a reflection in the eye, to give the impression that the eye is shiny. A bulldog's face, of course, is full of wrinkles. That's what gives it its typical bulldog character. And this is where you've, we find those guidelines, those extra guidelines in the head, very useful. The positioning of the eyes and centering up the face. And also the ear. It's much easier to get the ear perfect in terms of proportions when you've got the guideline for the ear, the trapezoid shape. And now the, the bulldog's nose. As you'd expect with such a wide, broad face, the, the nose is quite flat and wide. Drawing the top of the muzzle now. And to notice how the, the face is so wide that, as I mentioned before, the circle for the head is larger than the circle for the hips, but the muzzle goes outside even that. A little bit of indication for, for the, I suppose you could call them the whiskers. That's a term normally used for cats. But we do, dogs do have hairs on the muzzle arranged in rows. Quite complicated, the head of a bulldog. So take your time, pause the video, go back, and if you go wrong at any point, just rub it out and start again. Because it's one of the more difficult dog's heads to draw, I find. All those wrinkles, quite complicated. Now we move on to the ear closest to us. And it's getting quite bulldog-like, I think. I think you'll agree. Remember that this is speeded up twice normal speed. Make the video that a little bit more interesting to watch. Um, but if you're following along and drawing, you will need to pause your video. But you might like to watch it all the way through, first of all.
to get a feel for what you'll be doing. Don't forget those claws. Yeah, and notice how short and stumpy the legs of a bulldog are. Short and muscular. And notice how the, the leg nearest comes from within the chest. It, never draw your, your legs as if they're stuck onto the body. The legs emanate from the inside of the body. The muscles that control the legs start up in the shoulders for the four legs. Once again, notice how short and, squ and squat, stubby and muscular the legs of a bulldog are. Drawing in the claws on the hind leg. And again the short, strong hind leg. Those quite pronounced claws, quite noticeable because the, the bulldog is a very short haired dog. And the tail, which is it doesn't really look very much like a dog's tail at all, does it? And now we come to my favourite bit, where we erase the drawing guide and it's inevitable that you'll lose some of the original drawing. That's okay. Don't worry about that. It'll leave a trace and you can just go back in and restate that easily. The kind of rubber I'm using is called a putty rubber. Uh, it's particularly good as a rubber because it doesn't disturb the paper underneath. It's quite a soft rubber. Now I'm going to go back in and restate those lines that were accidentally rubbed out. There's no way around this. It's always going to happen. Um, don't worry about it, just go back in and restate those lines. Redraw them in.
There we go. We're getting there. Okay. So now time to do the final shading to give the your bulldog volume. Starting with the nose. That squat wide nose. And those of you with sharp eyes will notice that I've changed the arrangement around the mouth. And I've decided to put his tongue back in a little bit. Now take your time with the shading. Remember again, this is twice, this is, this, this is speeded up twice as fast as I actually did it. And now that the tongue's gone back in, you can see the folds of skin under the jaw. And notice the little spot of white, the little spot of white in the eye. That tells the viewer that the eye has got a shiny surface and is, is reflecting light. And this gives life to the eye. Notice the shadows inside the ear. And what I'm doing now is shading the folds of skin. This is, this is what gives the bulldog its particular character. One of the things, obviously the proportions of the, of the legs and the head, the large head, are all important, the rather squashed face. But equally the folds of skin. Indication of the shoulders, quite likely done. That stubby little tail. And a little bit of an indication of the hips. some of the muscles in the hind leg. I think it's looking quite reasonable now, quite like a bulldog. Some final little details around the face. And finally, re emphasizing the pupils a little bit. Well, if you enjoyed this, don't forget to like and subscribe and smash that bell to get more notifications when there's a new video coming out.
don't forget you can get PDF files to help you with your drawing at easyanimals to draw.com and finally a little shadow underneath the bulldog so that it doesn't look like it's floating in midair. There we go.